Hey children, hey babies, hi hands, welcome to Omining. My name is Destiny. It is so hot, it's like a thousand degrees in this house. I'm not even joking. It's so hot. Okay, like I just had a mini heat stroke. So, yeah. And this little wig, as small as it is, is really not helping the situation. But drip is forever. So, yeah, salapo. <laughs> I'm so hot and bothered and one of the things bothering me is the fact that I still don't know what to wear for New Year's Eve. And that is primarily because I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I don't know if I'm excited about it or not. I don't know what I want to do to celebrate or not. So I don't know if I should wear anything special or not. I mean, I could literally walk around like this all day and yeah, I don't know how I'll feel about it. So, so just one of the things calming me down is this water on the rocks. What else would I drink in this heat wave? Um, so what we're going to do today is that we're going to figure out, first of all, the moods that I can be in and then associate an outfit to it. Um, we have the pandemic mood, the stay in the house mood. So let's see what we're going to wear for that. Or we can have a beachy vibe because it's hot out, you know, or we can have something silky or we can have something sparkly because it makes sense. Or we can have something for a party. Although we're not going to any parties, but we could make a party of our own in the house because we will. Or we could go for something not too extra because, well, we could be in that mood. Or we could go for something with a blazer, something bossy because we are boss bitches. I mean, who would get through this year if they were not a boss ass bitch? Thank you, bye. Okay, let's get into it. First look is the stay in the house look. This is the ultimate stay in the house look. Maybe, you know, you could do your face because it's New Year's Eve, but then pull out your silk robe and comfy suits and call it a day. Why wouldn't that work? Why is that not a plan? It could work. So, okay killing the pandemic look thank you very much and for look number two beach vibes now this top is tucked in into my bra so that you know can and if you know anything about me you know that i love showing some leg so to show some leg on this skirt while still maintaining the vibes I would like to like tie it up like that. There's something to keep it up. And of course I'm wearing it with my pink slippers as well. Mm. Love how chill this look is. I love how comfortable it is. It is so beach vibes. And for the accessories, like I would go for something very simple. These earrings work. Um, I'm not going to change my earrings throughout all these outfits because I think they work with the entire theme, okay? So if I were to add anything extra to this, I would probably add something like a bracelet, probably add an anklet to it, or waist beads if I had some. I think waist beads would look nice with something like this. Okay, my male and it's strong, honey. I know I probably wear this dress in every outfit video I do, but like, so ten. I mean, look at it. And this is for something silky. I'm wearing it with these golden shoes. It's camel, but make it plain. You know what I'm saying? It's just gray like that. I now call upon something sparkly. I will tell the truth. I cannot get more, any more sparklier than this. Simply because I do not know anything more sparklier than this top and these boots. I don't know if you guys have ever actually seen these boots, you know, the material and stuff. But to get more sparkly than we are right now, I think the best thing you can do is add accessories. Cute little bracelet and your favorite earrings. And there you have it, something sparkly. Another one of those very comfy but sassy outfits because it's one of those tops that don't need a bra. 
First of all, you are freeing the nipple. The skirt is a very comfortable stretchy material and the boots are not very high. Something for my girl boss. Something with a blazer. Let's do it. All right. Okay, can I just say I did have an actual top, but I decided against it because I was like, mm, it's too much clothes. <laughs> so underneath that, I obviously have a bralette and this cool black and white blazer. I just feel like there is so much room for silo for female silhouette blazers. I mean, look at how it's sitting on me right now. I feel elevated and powerful in it. And for my pants, I have these these black pants that flare out. And for the shoes, I can't decide if I want to go high or low. So let's go for. These are the flats. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling the flats, but let's see how those gold sandals will look with this as well. This one definitely lifts up, lifts up the look, but I was feeling that I'm not really trying with those flat shoes. This is what I'd wear if I were to be invited to a New Year's Eve party, or if I were to throw one. This black floral jumper is where it's at. I mean, hey now. <laughs> I'm wearing the gold sandals because gold just ties it all together and just makes it a New Year's Eve outfit. I mean, this with anything else is just a jumper. I love the sophistication. Um, I love the elegance, but I love the fact that it's still short, it's still young. Young and elegant, that's the word. And this is great if you have long legs. It just shows off the legs in a really cute, subtle way. Okay, I'm done. Next outfit. And here is for something not too extra. Here we have a sheer top, a sheer leopard print top, paired with this genuine leather brown skirt. I could easily exchange the skirt for dark pants, or dark jeans rather, for a more casual look. But I mean, so teeny. But for the shoes though, I'm strictly going flat with these black push sandals. Um, for accessories, keeping it with just the earrings. I don't think um, anything beyond this is necessary. It's pretty comfortable. It's still a little bit sexy because the top is sheer, of course. It can go well into the evening without a jacket, which is great. Put it in the outfit. Might not take it off. All right, children. I think we've seen way more than enough to decide what we want to wear for the last day of 2020 can't wait oh, let it come and let it pass whether you decide to glam up or you decide to laze around in your quarantine looks I bet the only thing that matters is that you are having a good time okay it's the last day of, of one of the worst years in history so you've made it to the last one cheers to you and if you like this video please let me know by leaving a thumbs up below subscribe if you haven't it's good for you it's good for your health and what else is it to say happy new year i love I you thank you for you watching my videos thanks for subscribing Mwah. see I you in the next video